Magnet. Uh-huh. Ready to go? Certainly. All right, because I wanted to mention something right here at the top of the show. Okay. Uh, something that I think is very exciting. I, I will probably be excited, too. Well, you're, it's your job to be excited to any piece of crap that I say, right? right. <laughs> but, I mean, I, I bet you I'll be real. <laughs> you will be sincere tonight. An honest excitement. Unlike the other night. Yeah. Right. And you're like, ha, ha. Whoa. <laughs> uh, no. It's well, only off camera, though. It's when they go to the shop, then I'm going... <laughs> oh, hi. not so good. All right. Well, I was going to mention to the uh, people at home, you know, I don't know if they know this, the post office, ladies and gentlemen, is uh, continually coming up with new designs for their 32-cent stamps. And it's kind of a, uh, a big deal. You know, they, they put a lot of work into these new innovative stamps, and everyone gets kind of excited. I get excited. You get excited. I get, yeah, wow. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> See? Anyway, hey, that was a sincere one, too. Well, once again, folks, this show, Late Night, and we beat out the other shows, this show has been lucky enough to get a sneak peek at some of the new designs that will be coming out in the next few months for these stamps. And I had the idea, let's show them on the air, scoop everybody, because right. there are a lot of stamp o files out yeah, there exactly. who are going to want... I didn't do a lot of reading in school. <laughs> who are going to want to know about the new stamp. Right, and it, it's good you mentioned that the other shows, we really beat them out. Because exactly. Every show on television is clamoring to show new stamps. Exactly. They're, they're, they're killing each other to do mm -hmm. this. We're going to do it tonight, and let's get started right here, okay? Now, folks, whenever possible, the U.S. Postal Service likes to champion social issues like racial equality and environmental awareness, good causes like that. Well, in that spirit, Here's a series of stamps which portray the various stages of the recycling process. Very cool. Yeah, take a look. Here's the first one. Plastic soda bottle. Yeah. Then bottle on conveyor belt. Then bottle getting melted down. And finally, Pamela Anderson Lee. Right there. <laughs> and I thought, that people understand. I get it. She's a crucial part of the process. Right. Now I, I get it. <laughs> All right. Don't overdo it. Oh, All right. right. <laughs> Folks, a triumphing over adversity is a classic American theme, which the U.S. Post Office once again celebrates in this exciting series entitled The Hidden Abnormalities of Celebrities. This is a good one. Take a look. There's Estelle Getty's cloven hoof right there. <laughs> Right there, Tyne Daly's vestigial tail. <laughs> we have Brian Austin Green's blowhole right there. <laughs> and finally, my favorite, Judd Hirsch's parasitic twin. I think he's your... That's my personal favorite. <laughs> <laughs> That's, uh, thankfully, four lawsuits in one day. I know, I That's know. That's pretty good. All right, now here's a set of stamps dedicated to some of this country's most remarkable citizens. That's right. It's the Middle-Aged Virgin series. Right there, you've got Rob Crest of New York, New York. Right there, you got Mike Sellers of Indianapolis, Indiana. Chuck Walker of Olympia, Washington. And Young Young, the socially retarded panda, finally finishing things out. Come on, Young Young. I know. Mm. Too bad for him. Now, it's really hard to believe that it was 10 years ago that the uh, New York Mets beat the Boston Red Sox in the 1986 World Series. And here again, the post office commemorates the four most memorable moments from that fall classic. Right, there's the baseball rolling underneath Bill Buckner's legs. There's the ball rolling between Bill Buckner's legs. There's the ball dribbling underneath Bill Buckner's legs. There's Bill Buckner missing the ball. That's a nice series. I'd buy that yeah. series. Yeah. Fun. Yeah, very much so. Now, uh... American Indians have often been portrayed on stamps, and their struggles and triumphs will once again be celebrated in this new series entitled Native Americans with Car Trouble. That's right. Sitting Bull changing a flat tire. Geronimo discovering an oil leak. Sacagawea inspecting a cracked muffler. And Crazy Horse and Lou Diamond Phillips involved in a fender bender. Right there. I understand they got that sorted out. I hope so. Yeah. Now, uh, stamps are also great for capturing all aspects of the human drama. Here are four stamps from the Burt's Reaction to Dean Martin's Death series. Right there is shock. <laughs> then we have anger, followed by sadness, and then acceptance. 
I'm going to check that one. The, uh, I think the acceptance stamp is like the prettiest, most touching stamp I've ever seen. I, I'm a little weepy right now. <laughs> yeah, for different reasons. <laughs> All right. Now, folks, uh, patriotism is at the core of a lot of stamp series. Here's a new variation on that tried and true theme, the Knocked Up National Monument series. That's right, you got the Statue of Liberty right there. You got the Washington Monument. You got Mount Rushmore. And my favorite, the Lincoln Memorial. Isn't that nice? You should be seen. Oh, what a great country, huh? All right, let's uh, take a little break, and uh, when we come back, very excited to have Richard Lewis with us. You don't want to miss it.